Hi, Coach Troy here from Metro Lutheran's Financial Opportunity Center, here once again to talk about your money. Specifically in this episode, we're going to talk about the action of paying off your debt. You know, that's one of the most common goals that my clients will have, is they want to get out from underneath their debt. Now, they may have a couple of credit cards maxed out, maybe they have a car loan that they owe, maybe some medical bills, or maybe even a <clears throat> payday loan but it's resulted in them having some debt they need to take care of. They got themselves into a situation. One of the best methods, one of the best actions that you can take is to utilize the snowball method to pay off those debts. Now there's other methods out there, but today we're gonna to talk about the snowball. But before we can talk about the snowball, the action that has to occur before that is stop adding to your debt. I've had clients that worked hard to pay off debt on a credit card, but they were still charging as they were trying to pay off the debt. And you wind up spinning your wheels, you feel awful, you made all this effort, but you still have all this debt because you kept using the charge card. So first of all, let's stop using the charge card. Don't cut it up, don't close the account, that helps your credit score if you have available credit that you're not using, but stop adding to the debt. Secondly, we're going to line up then all of the debts that we owe from smallest to largest. And we're going to make sure that we're making at least the minimum payment if possible on every single one of those. And then we're going to look for more. So let's say that our minimum payment's $25 for each one of these. And let's say that you found a way every month to have 25 more dollars that you don't know what to do with. Well, we're going to give it a plan. So we're going to take that smallest debt. We're going to make our $25 minimum payment plus the $25 that we've managed to scrounge out from somewhere else. Now we're paying 50 bucks a month on that. Let's say it was a $200 balance that you had. In four months, you will have paid that off. Now, instead of saying, wow, now I have $50 that I can spend on something else, you're gonna use the snowball method. You're gonna take that $50 that you had been spending add it to the $25 for the next debt. So now you're not making a $25 payment, you're making a $75 a month payment. Let's say that one was a $300 card that you owed. Now with making a $75 payment, that too is gonna to take four months and it's gone. Guess what happens? The next debt comes up, it's that $75 added to the minimum payments that you were making before. So as the snowball rolls downhill, just like when you make a snowman in the winter and you roll that snow on the ground, that snowball gets bigger and bigger, making a bigger impact on the next debt that you challenge. I've had clients use this method and they've gone from paying off and paying off and making these minimum payments to now they're putting money in savings for the future. They're no longer paying for the past. They're moving forward and paying for the future. So the snowball method, that's an action that you could take to work on paying off your debts. If you have questions, you don't know quite how to make this work, give me a call here at the Financial Opportunity Center, 816-285-3131, and we'll give you a hand at figuring out how you can take action to make your financial future a little brighter.